my channel. So like as promised, I told you I'm going to show you how I do my famous meatloaf that does not taste like just chunks of hamburger that's dry and thick. So this is what I always use in my meatloaf to make it moist and everything and very flavorful. It doesn't even taste like your ordinary plain dry thick hamburger meat meatloaf. So what you need is your meatloaf. Okay, and you need your stove top pork. I use the pork because it has lots of flavor. With your salt and pepper, and also I'm going to be using some onion mix right here. And of course, just salt and pepper and anything else you'd like to throw in there. So in there, what's best to do is go ahead and start combining. The, the best way to do it is to use your hands or use a spoon. But I think your hands will do better. Probably should use a bigger bowl. But um combine everything really well I will be back once I finish combining everything together oh and I have my oven set to 350 to get hot and I'm going to when I put it in the oven I'm going to put it on 375 so I'll be back in a second well now if everything is combined and I just pushed it down into the pan instead of making like our traditional round loaf so make it cook all at the same time so I'm just gonna pop it in the oven once it's done I will show you the end result and after that we're gonna go ahead and start on the mashed potatoes and the corn you know what no <laughs> this is just gonna be a meatloaf tutorial so once it's done I'll show you guys start by corn the car which you guys told you basically shuck the corn and put it in the water with seasoning with salt, salt whatever I actually use um, the chicken flavored bouillon to flavor my water itself as you see it's boiling. So now I'm fixing to um, shuck the corn and put it in the pot. I already have my water boiling as well. Um, I have it in a bowl in the microwave because it's not going to be cooked that much. And then I'm going to show you how I season it as well. It is done you guys. It tastes amazing. I taste it. It just tastes amazing. The flavor is definitely there. So the only thing I put on top is I put a can of tomato paste. That's all I do. Because I don't need so much stuff on there. And the meat itself is very well seasoned. Tastes very good. So I'm going to put this uh, tomato paste on top. Here's my corn. It's already done. I have biscuits in the oven and I'm going to start on my mashed potatoes. It's done and um yeah hope you enjoy and i'll see you guys next time bye